All right, there comes a point in your life where you mature as a Christian and some people don't. They continue to stay where they are. You have to pray for them. Galatians 5 and 24. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with his passions and desires. So as Paul said, we have to crucify our flesh daily, um, but some people don't. Um, verse 25, since we live by the Spirit, let us walk and step with the Spirit, let us stay and step with the Spirit. So there's things that God um, asks us to do to help crucify the flesh, you know, pray for your enemies or anything like that. Um, and sometimes, you know, even if you wrong somebody, you say something, you know, you're supposed to go back, you know, and reconcile with that person. Listen, I... Um, you know, I apologize for what I've done. I apologize for what I said. Now, there are some people that will continue to hold that over your head, but that's okay. That just means they just hasn't spiritually grown in that area. And all you got to do is pray for them. Don't let them don't let them hold that over your head. Some people always bring that up or anything like that. And even if they could have been wrong as well, too, well, you know, I only said something because they said something, which is fine. But it's not about that. You know, it's it's about spiritual growth. You know, you could be the better person and apologize for that person. Now, there's instances where, you know, I've done that. Um, and, you know, people have had like a title or they had more education or whatever you want to call it. Or they felt like, you know, they've been in, um, you know, the church longer than I have. Um, but that doesn't mean anything. You know, I know So I was talking to uh, somebody, a girl had asked me about it. About a situation like that, and they were saying because of this person and how they value this person, and which is good what they accomplished in life, but there's a point where you can get stuck and you're not maturing. You know, spiritual character continues to build, you know, um, and that's why you have to pray for them. Romans 8 and 4, so that the righteous standard of the law might be filled in us who do not live according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. <clears throat> so that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to continue living by the spirit, you know, and that's why God said, you know, my sheep knowing my sheep shall hear me. And that's what we're supposed to do. You know, God will tell us to do things that we don't want to do, but everything God tells you to do is beneficial. Even praying for your enemies, even apologizing, even if somebody else wronged you and then you said something after that or reacted after that or anything like that. It's just being, the, the you know, the better person at that moment, not saying that you're, you know, um, that, you know, that they're a bad person, but they just are, you know, stuck in that situation. That's why, you know, something can happen. And every time you see that person, they'll bring it up or anything like that. And that's maybe somebody you shouldn't you shouldn't hang around or anything like that, you know, because people can get jealous of the spirit, <clears throat> the gift that God has given you or the anointing that is on your life or anything like that. Galatians 5 and 16. So I say walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. So the more we walk by the spirit, you know, the flesh isn't happy. Um, but some people, you know, they, they start to live by the flesh, you know, Proverbs 15 and one, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. So there's a time that, you know, we're supposed to, you know, in a sense, not be spiritual punk. So you look at verse 17, ver uh, Proverbs 27 and 17, as iron sharpens iron. So one person sharpens another, you know, so you can tell somebody, Hey, you know, um, I don't like how kind of how you said that. But I believe this is what you should do. You know, we should live by the spirit. You know, <clears throat> that don't mean you have to be a spiritual punk. You know, sometimes, you know, people just let anybody say anything to them. Now, I mean, I remember, you know, I was hearing this preacher talking about it, talking about being spiritual punks. You know, what I'm saying just um, letting people say whatever they want to say. You know, the church. You know, the pastor. You know, the pastor's wife. I mean, whatever. You know, when people, you know, are the way they are in their flesh and you don't have to accept that. Now, that don't mean you have to go out there and just argue with them, but there's a way that you can handle something. That's why I say in Proverbs 5, and when a gentle answer turns away wrath, you know, but a harsh word stirs up anger. So, you know, and that's what I, you know, God's been training me, you know, how to talk to people, you know, even when, you know, they don't do what you want them to do or they don't talk to you the, the correct way and say, you don't have to take that, you know. But that's why God wants you to pray for them. James 5 and 16. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. So when you see somebody is in the error in their ways, you know, all you got to do is just pray. You know what? God, um, show them the error of their ways. You know, I pray that you heal them in that area. You know, nothing is wrong with that. You know, you don't have to put it on social media or anything like that. A lot of times people gossip. Girl, guess what so-and-so did? No, nah, really, God wants us to pray for them. Because there's a point where, you know, people, um, you know, live in the flesh and they don't even know that, you know. Um, and that's why some people don't read this Bible, because if you read it, I mean, the Bible will convict you. There will be things that God will tell you what you need to work on and he'll bring it up to you. And even myself, you know, when I looked at it and I was like, OK, God, you know, I'll be like, look, God, I don't 
I don't listen. I'm gonna do this, but I don't. You know, what I'm saying like you're gonna have to help me with it. You know, especially praying for people that you know talked about you. And I remember when God wanted me to minister to my enemies. You know, and don't get me wrong. Like I don't mind doing what God called me to do. But like I said in that moment, you know, what I'm saying this was a long time ago, years ago, when I was struggling. You know, I just asked God to help me, and He did. You know, and I've had a peace like no other. You know, that's why somebody can do something ignorantly, and then God can go say, pray for him or speak some words of encouragement to him, and I will. You know, I can even see him on Facebook. And some people I've unfriended, you know, um, not even friends anymore um, on Facebook. But, um, you know, if a post comes up and a person needs prayer, you know, I'll hit like and I'll, uh, you know, I'll pray for him. No way before he gets him, she'll prosper. That don't mean I'm going to have lunch and have coffee with him or anything like that. But only unless God tells me to, you got to be careful because God doesn't want you around a lot of people that don't really care about you. You know, saying like like they should. Second Timothy two and twenty two. Flee the youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Verse twenty three. But reject foolish, ignorant speculation, for you know that it breeds quarreling or fights. So even if you try to you know correct somebody, as it says, iron sharp as iron. If they try to argue with you, God said, flee from that. <laughs> Just tell them, okay, you know, God bless. There are some people that are stuck in their flesh and they don't even know about it. But you can pray for them. That's what God wants you to do. And verse 24, and the servant of the Lord must not be quarrelsome, but he must not. He must be kind to everyone and able to teach and forbearing. So there are some people that, you know, again, are going to feel like, you know, um, I had, you know, an instance where a person was trying to say, you know, I was trying to minister to them and encourage them. And they were like, oh, well, I know more scripture than you or whatever. And I'm like, you know, God bless you. Like, that's not what I'm trying to do, you know, thinking of myself. And I'm like, okay, I just said, okay. But in my head, I was thinking like, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to encourage you. That's what the Bible says, that we should encourage each other. You know, it's just said, you know, it says, do good to those that, you know, um, you know, d d deserve it. And also, um, you know, especially those in the body of Christ, you know, do not withhold the good. That's how it goes. Um, you know, but there are some people that, you know, saying, they want to be encouraged, and that's cool, you know what I'm saying? That's what the Bible says, you know, sweep your feet, you know, shake the dust off and anything like that. But just wanted to be encouraged in the day and let you know, I mean, you don't have to be a spiritual punk. You know, you can sit there and tell somebody, you know, saying correctly, and if they don't want to hear it, I mean, that's fine, and just pray for them. You know, that just shows that you're a level of maturity that you're going to, and there's some people are not, you know, despite what they may have a title, despite if they may have a, a Ph.D., um, you know, despite if they've been in a church 40 years, despite if they're a deacon, despite if they're a pastor or whatever the case may be. Um, it's not about that, but, you know, some people it is, you know, saying that's where it talks about worldly, you know, saying they, then they try to debate with you whether you know. And it's like, no, I'm just trying to help you. Like, you know, and it's something I went through myself, try to help people. But again, not everybody received Jesus. So why would anybody receive you? We're supposed to be like his image. So. All right. God bless. Love y'all.